All right, Shalom. I'm we'll going to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rakhakadash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the GMS. And I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay. Um, I'm going to be reading from the book of St. Matthew, the sixth chapter. Okay. From verse five, um, I had been reading the fourth, fifth, and sixth chapter. And um, when I got to the Lord's Prayer, precepts, they came to mind. So I, I just figured I'd do a lesson on it, okay? Because when you go back to the fourth chapter and the 17th verse, it says, From that time, Yahweh shall begin to preach and to say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, okay? And this is where he started. This is where the next verse it says, And Yahweh shall walk by the Sea of Galilee, Saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were fishers. And he said unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Okay, so he's gathering his disciples. Okay, so then when you get to uh, the fifth chapter, all right, uh, mainly I, I read verse one. It says, and seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain. And when he was set, his disciples came unto him and he opened his mouth and taught them saying okay and he goes on into blessed or you know um who's blessed okay um verse 13 you are the salt of the earth you know so he's um teaching them okay he's teaching his disciples all right and um giving them instructions all right giving them the, really giving them the law okay what you should do okay um so when you get to the sixth chapter, it goes into the Lord's Prayer. Um, so I'm going to start at six and um, verse five. OK, so this is St. Matthew, chapter six and verse five. It says, and when thou prayest, OK, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Okay, because that's what they want. They want men to see them, uh, so called being holy. Okay, which that ain't being holy, man. Okay, uh, the next line says, um, pray they look for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets that they may be seen of men. Verily, I say unto you, they have their reward. Okay. That's the reward they wanted. They wanted to be seen of men, okay? They want men to see them. Oh, look at, oh, he's out there praying. Oh, wow. You know, that's the, that's, that's the reward they want, okay? Now, when you go over to the 19th verse, it says, Lay not up yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, corrupt and where thieves do not break through nor steal for where your treasure is there will your heart be also okay so they treasure is for men to see them out praying you know outwardly okay now this is what the lord says so this is saint matthew 6 and 6 it says but thou when thou prayest enter into thy closet and when thou hast shut thy door pray to thy father Okay, because remember, he's preaching, he's telling this to his disciples. Okay, so he said to thy father, all right, and father is capitalized, by the way. Okay, because the the power of Israel, the power of the, the most high power, Yahweh, okay, is the power of Israel. He's the God of Israel. Okay, as a matter of fact, I'm going to get a scripture. I could get a lot of scriptures, but I'm going to get one. Uh, let's here. It's Deuteronomy chapter 30. Um, let me see. No, not 33. I'm so lucky. It's, um, it's 32. I'm sorry. The Salakia. This is Deuteronomy 32. And um, 
I start at 7. It says, Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. When the Most High, okay, the Most High, all right, the, the omnipotent, okay, the all-powerful, okay, all-seeing, all-knowing, okay, the creator of everything. The most high. He's the highest. There is no other high as he. Okay. He's the most high. Okay. It says, when the most high divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam. Okay. He set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. For the Lord's portion is his people. Jacob is the lot of his inheritance. Okay. Okay. So it's Israel, man, okay? Period, point blank, and the Lord never changed, okay? He found him in a desert land, and in the waste and howling wilderness, he led him about, he instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye, all right? So that's that proves the point, okay? So it says, Matthew 6 and 6, But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, Okay, because when the Lord himself came back, Yahweh Shah came back, the one the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right. He came back for his people. All right. And that's also in the book of St. Matthew, the first chapter. One and uh, 21. I, um, yeah, this is St. Matthew 1 and 21. It says, and she called. Uh. Yeah, I'll just get to the point. This is St. Matthew 1 and 21. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Okay? Because we're the ones that the law was given to. Okay? And that's the only ones that the Most High is dealing with. Okay? Um, I'll get one more scripture. And it's from the book of Psalms. 147 and 19 he showeth his word unto jacob his statutes and his judgments unto israel okay because what is sin sin is transgression of the law okay the law was given to israel he had not dealt so with any nation and as for his judgments they have not known them praise ye the lord yahweh Yahweh okay so when it says our father or, or pray to your father which is in heaven that's being possessive Okay, our father is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, so say Matthew 6 and 6. But when thou, Salakia, but thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet, and when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father which is in secret, and thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard. For their much speaking, okay? Be not ye therefore like unto them. For your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye, ye ask him, okay? So that's plain, okay? The most I already know what you want, or what you need, rather, okay? He know everything, man, okay? He's the one that put the instructions in your mind, okay? Everything you do is already predestinated. Okay, but that's a whole nother lesson. There's no such thing as free will. Let me just say that and move on. Okay, and you can find countless amounts of videos over no free will. Just put free will, great millstone, and watch what come up on the YouTube search engine. Okay, um, say Matthew six and seven. But when thou, but when ye pray, use not vain repetition. As the heathen do, for they think that they shall be heard of their much speaking. Be ye therefore like, be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, okay, which art in heaven, all right, because that's where the Most High dwells, in heaven, okay. Uh, real quick, I'm gonna go back. St. Matthew 5 and 
33, it says again, you have heard that it had been said by them of old time, thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is the heavenly father's throne. Okay, where does a king sit? He sits on his throne. Okay, he's on his throne, which is in heaven. Okay. Um, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. Okay, it's another scripture say that Isaiah. Uh, I'll grab it right quick. Isaiah 66. And uh, one, it says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, the heaven is my throne. And the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? And where is the place of my rest? Okay. So the Most High dwelleth in, in the kingdom. He's in heaven. Okay. It says, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Okay. Meaning we have the name, man. And that name is holy. Okay. It's a holy name. All right, his name, his son's name, okay? Those are holy names, man, okay? And we have those names now, okay? Why else would this be written, okay? And it's letting you know we have the name. It says, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, okay? Has the kingdom come yet? No. So that means we got the name now, all right? As a matter of fact... Let me get the Baruch. Chapter 2. And, uh, let me see. I started 29. This is the book of Baruch in the Apocrypha. Chapter 2 and verse 29. It says, if ye will not hear my voice surely this very great multitude shall be turned <clears throat> into a small number among the nations where i will scatter them okay for i knew that they would not hear me because it is a stiff-necked people Shh, boy it says but in the land of their captivities they shall remember themselves now aren't we remembering ourselves are we waking? Haven't we woke up to the fact that we're the Israelites? That the scriptures is speaking of the apple of the Most High's eye. Yes, the answer is yes. Con, okay. So we're remembering ourselves in our captivities. All right, verse thirty-one. It says, "And shall know that I am the Lord their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear, meaning to understand spiritually." Eyes that you may see spiritually and ears that you may hear spiritually so you can get the understanding of this. Okay. And he has granted that upon certain men. Okay. Because everybody's not going to get it. Okay. Even ones that find that they are Israel because you have guys that are not even teaching the name. Okay. When this scripture is about to cut that. Okay. Verse 31. And shall know that I am the Lord. Their power, for I will give them an heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name. So there you have it, man. We have the names, man. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, okay? Why means and. So Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, okay? In the name of the Holy Spirit, the Rahakwadash. Okay. So let me go back. Um, because I'm, I'm gonna start back at verse 9. It says, uh, St. Matthew 6 and 9, after this manner, therefore, pray ye, our Father which art in heaven, okay, hallowed be thy name, okay, thy kingdom come, which the kingdom ain't came yet. So that means we got the name. It says, thy will be done in earth. Is the most highest will, ultimately, yes, his will is being done in earth. But it's going to be done in earth where all of Israel will never go off again, man. Okay? We're going to be made 
we're going to be programmed not to go off, okay? And do the will of the Heavenly Father, okay? It says, thy will be done in earth, meaning the kingdom of heaven is going to be here on earth, all right? As it is in heaven, okay? And right, you know that's not taking place because, matter of fact, I'm going to get a scripture. And it's the book of Psalms. All right, because think about what's going on on the earth right now. All manner of wickedness and evil. So this is Psalms 5 and 4. It says, for thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness. So the most high don't take pleasure in this place, man. It's full of wickedness. It says, neither shall evil dwell with thee. So his will be done on earth as it is in heaven. What's going on here on earth ain't taking place in the kingdom of heaven, man. It's not taking place where the most high sits upon his throne, man. Okay? It just said, thou not, he's not a power that had pleasure in wickedness. It say, neither shall evil dwell with thee. Okay? The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Okay? So, go back to St. Matthew 6. And um, 10, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven, okay? Give us this day our daily bread, okay? Our daily bread, man, all right? Not, you know, too much and not too little. And I'm going to just give us the balance, all right? Because that's what this thing is about, Okay? Having a proper balance, man. Okay? And that's what you want. When you weigh in scales, okay? It's like when you go to the courthouse. You want the scales to be balanced, man. Okay? You're supposed to be balanced. All right? Know everybody in the herd to eat a balanced diet. You know? All that. You know? We're supposed to be balanced out, man. Okay? So I'm going to get a scripture. And it's the book of Proverbs 30. And uh, eight, it says, remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Okay. Give me neither poverty to where I'm just down and out, nor riches where I got too much. Okay. It says, feed me with food convenient for me, lest I be full and deny thee. You see? And say, who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my power in vain. See? Not too much, not too less. A balance, man. Give us this day our daily bread. Okay? So let me go back. Um, it says, uh, give us this day our daily bread. St. Matthew 6 and 11. And it says, verse 12, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Okay. Um, what's that scripture? Okay, right here. St. Matthew 7 uh, and 1. It says, judge not that ye be not judged. For with what judgment ye judge, ye shall be judged. And with what measure of ye meet, it shall be measured to you again, okay? So what you, you, however, the way you judge, that's the way you're going to get judged, man, okay? So it says, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. You're supposed to have, a, you're supposed to forgive, man, your brothers, all right? Don't get it twisted, okay? Um, Because if you sitting there, Cracking a brother, and then it come back to you. How you think it's gonna come back to you, man? Okay. Um. Verse thirteen. I've gone to thirteen. It says, uh, Saint Matthew six and thirteen. It says, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Okay. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Okay, so 
we are supposed to be asking the Heavenly Father to lead us not into temptation, okay? But deliver us from evil, all right? Mainly, deliver us up out of this hell, man, okay? May we be one of the elect, okay? Deliver us up out of this, this condition, okay? And and that's that's something, you know, we, I'm sure our brothers pray for, man, is to be part of that elect, man, okay? To be delivered from evil, okay? And not to be led into temptation, man. And temptation is all around us. That's why this prayer is so important, man, okay? Because temptation is all around us, man. And Satan, the spiritual demon Satan, he know just what floats your boat, man. Okay, so you got to pray to the most high or, or when you say this prayer, okay, this prayer covers everything. Okay, this prayer covers everything. The Lord said, this is the way that he said, after this manner, therefore pray ye after this manner. And then he gave the prayer, man. Okay. So that's pretty much it. Um, I don't think I had nothing else. No, that was it. Um, so, you know, as always, you know, Lord willing, there was edification in this. This is just what I was, I had been reading, you know, and I got to the Lord's Prayer and just decided to do a lesson on it, you know. Um, but um, like I said, Lord willing, there was edification in this lesson. And again, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah Bahasham. Rahak Wadash, double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the GMS. All right. And I want to say peace and blessings unto the elect. We almost out of here, man. Okay. Until the next time, I say Shalom.